What's oh what? What's my rating? Wait, what? Hey money wubby wiki feet. Damn, it autofilled. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. That shit autofilled so fast. And there was like ten pages that I've been to. La, 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 la. Damn. Damn, there's a I damn, I'm giving it up for nothing. Bro, there are comments? Oh my god, I remember this! Dude. Some of these comments are crazy. We gotta check in on these people once in a while. This is crazy. Listen to this. Listen to this comment. Anyone have more clips of him showing his souls like this? Seems like he does it a lot. I'd pay to see more of his souls. Pedophile. Looks like we might be in a feet drought. Context, he said he would stop showing for free. Bro! You know these people are real too? Because they got names like Throwaway915. Hey, listen, man. I got porn throwaways too. That just means it's real. What? What's with all these reports? He knows about this and thinks it's funny. This dude's about to be pissed when it gets taken down. His soles were so dirty in this photo! Bro! Throw away 915. If you're in chat tonight, step forward. Throw away. If you are in chat tonight, please step forward. I want to speak to you. You can remain anonymous. I was going to quickly say, I'll be right back. But I was going to say, I was making myself a gamer subs. Use code Wubby. And I will say this real quick. If you are a, if you have an my ice maker. My favorite is really nice ginger chub feet. If you uh, have an ice maker in your freezer. Uh, and you choose to use the crushed ice feature. You are a pedophile. Simple. God, I'm old. Let's go. Almost two years. 45? Damn. Love it. A lot of people turning themselves into the authorities right now. Your rating is cutie pie. Let me, let me at least explain my take when we come back. What if I use the, the cube fancy ice feature? 32 months woo. Cheers. I mean, what do you want? What do you want from me? That's the goat. That's the best way to keep a liquid cold. Uh, well, explain it now. I'll talk. I'll talk in a minute. Feet. Almost two years. What am I doing with my life? Commander Random. Condensation paper in the fridge, big boss. Illinois soy boy, 37 months. Giving money to the hardest working person in the world. Wubby 7. On God Wubby 7. Hell yeah, brother. E. Wubby Wubby Woo. Pee pee. Here. Ladies, I know I know what you're going through now. I don't want to be sexualized without me wanting to be. And there's something weird about it, you huh. know? I like it when I choose to be, but when I don't choose to be, I don't like it. Really nice ginger chub feet. The fuck does that mean, bro? 62 months. You know I'm going to be a lifeguard. Enter on world phone. 59 months of fungus. Protus mugs. You want some MCR? I was listening to MCR. I got you, bro. I got you. Let's bring up the mood a little bit on this hump day. I got you, bro. Sorry, I'm late. Why did Here's I some see? MCR, bro. I got Thank you. you. Whoa, 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 whoa. I clicked the one Officially wrong one, really? Wubby, wubby, woo. There it is. There it is! Could get me a drink of 
water cause my lips are chapped Empty and faded fate. call my Aunt Marie Help her gather all my oh, things, things and, and bury bow. me in all my favorite colors my sisters and my brothers still I will not kiss you Okay, first off, someone said, play Helena I next, see. fatty. Now, I don't want to, and I wanted to play Helena, but you saying play Helena next, I'm fatty, just fatty just has done something to me, and I don't like it. Shut crazy. up, everybody! Everybody, shut up! Okay, and then second off, I need to, for, okay, I need, I, need to, I need to address this. Okay, Corbad, you've been in the stream far too long. You're calling it Zoomer music. We are not Zoomers, bro! Hello? This is millennial. I believe at this point it's millennial music, right? Who, what fucking, what 14 year old is listening to My Chemical Romance anymore? Their most recent like tour that they did, or not tour, their, their performance was at that old people festival, dude. Kids don't think MCR is cool. Kids like, what's his name? I, I don't know why, but I wanted to say Beyonce. Beyonce is also not, what's Zoomer music even, dude? Oh, whoa, I'll be fucked up if you can't be right. Right? It's not MCR! Lil, yeah, yeah, it's it's little babies and stuff. The Zoomers love little babies. And, 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 it's you. Faith in your body, it's you. You know, Taylor Swift. I'm gonna play, the, I'm gonna play it, whatever. And then I'll be back, okay? And then I'm gonna end stream. And that's it. That was all stream was tonight. Three songs and I'm out. I promise you guys. Song bangs! <laughs> Hello? Just like the hearse you tired of getting again. We are so far from I love cottage cheese for the Let me clarify that. There's this poll in the chat. There's a poll in the chat. I didn't just say that randomly. There is a poll, and I love cottage cheese. And honestly, people who don't like cottage cheese, you should be weeded out. Evolution will take you! You are weak humans! People with nut allergies, you will die! Cottage cheese is just, it's, it's people who can't handle texture, and if you can't handle texture, how are you gonna have my back?
cottage cheese is good savory. It's good, sweet. It's just good. It's just good. Someone said, bro, you can't defend curdled milk. Grow up, dude! Do you not like... Are you gonna say that I don't actually like blue cheese because it's mold? Bro, that's the most I'm 14 take I've ever heard. Well, I don't like blue cheese because it's mold. Because it's mold. Because I don't eat... I don't put mold in my... McDonald's has a new sauce called Wickdonald sauce. Green man. It doesn't make any sense. It's very weird. I like the flavor of it. It's pretty good. That's that's my whole story. Thanks, guys. Months. Rustin. Thanks for coming. God, man, just melt Earth. cheese on me. I, am so I love old. cheese, bro. I am cheese so is fragile. so fucking good. <sighs> and cottage cheese is good. Cottage cheese is good. And blue cheese is good. And let I me defend real quick my crushed ice take, if I may, chat. Hope also, hello. Happy Hope Wednesday. Up. How's everybody doing? Did you have a good Monday and Tuesday at your fucking loser easy jobs? Now wait, wait, as I, I'm sure I should stop Ruth talking about it. It's over. That one whack Donald's girl already. Really? That makes sense. She was like a little anime girl. I'm now getting breastfeeding content on Instagram. Oh uh, no! Breastfeeding content, I hate when I get that. Oh, what? Link it. We should all report okay, it guys, if you link it to me. At the Old People Festival. Let's start wubby at the seven, Dr. Skull's booth, wubby and seven, later on we will meet at the seven, ibuprofen seven, tent. Wubby seven. What is that supposed to be? What is the joke even there? I don't understand. Justin Timberpon! Thank you, brother. Love you. Do you like cottage cheese? Can I defend my crushed ice take real quick? It's so simple. I feel like my crushed ice, ice take is is not even it's a hot spaghetti. take. It's a because it's a guys. It's about ice. No, boss. no don't even do it. You, Put my chemical romance that. back on. You know? Do you guys watch for me? Who no. do you watch for? Boo! I'm already getting booed. Can well, I defend it? Year, Can I say anything about it, please? Life, not because a lot of you, but you were a big part of it. Well, cheese dip. Thank hard. you for the thank you for the five. What is that multiple layered dip called? That has like multiple layers in it. What is the name of it? I miss you, Wubby. I miss you too. Five layer dip? Is that what it's called? Seven layer dip? <laughs> it's good. <laughs> have you seen Thank the you. covers of Toad singing on Instagram? No, I Toad haven't. Toad singing Chandelier by Ariana Grande oh, is I the have best seen that. thing on the internet. I have seen that. That's, that's old though, I thought. All I was going to say about Crushed Ice is that I had a Crushed friend. Ice is shit, he was that pellet ice though. Uh, I had a friend in, he was like my best friend through middle and high school, and he was only a crushed ice guy. And I never understood it because you try it once, it's so simple. If you have a normal drink that you're sipping from, not a straw that you're sipping from, and you use crushed ice, it is so, you ha I don't know how to describe it, but it's so difficult to get just the liquid in your mouth. Like you are fighting against slush and you have to like, okay, put it down. It's horror, it's horrific. I don't know, and people do it. It will ruin it legitimately. If I'm at like a restaurant and their drink comes with crushed ice, if I cannot get a straw, it's all but ruined. I have to just wait, okay? Now, sidebar. If I have a drink with a straw, crushed ice is goaded. I fucking love crushed ice. Like one of my favorite things from Cane's is their ice is like star bit crumble bullshit. I love it. It's the best ever. You're an actual child, bro. Chow just had a fucking meltdown aneurysm over cottage cheese, and I'm a child? I'm a- over a cottage fucking cheese- literal babies eat cottage cheese! You- are you kidding me? Kitty- wait, that actually hurts my argument. Kitty Meow Mix, thank you for the five. That actually hurts my argument a lot. Let me- what I meant by that- wow, that really- that's a soul-crushing realization I just had. Babies can handle- can handle ice in their mouth. You seem to know a lot about babies, you fucking pervert. <laughs> I think I just, yeah, I think I just hurt myself in confusion. Forget, hey, let's just move on, chat. Oh, poor guy. 
let's just forget about it, I guess. Uh, what about crushed red pepper? It, literally the best. I have that shit on me. I keep that shit ready to go. I love crushed, like for pizza and shit. I'm also, I've grown a lot. I don't really do the cheese burrito thing when I eat pizza anymore. You guys know what I'm talking about where I would peel the cheese off of a, a slice of pizza. I would roll the cheese up into a cheese burrito. Then I would eat the crust. Then I would eat the bread. I don't do it anymore. I really don't. Breakthrough. I know. I've discovered something new that's that's kind of destroyed the way I eat pizza now. Hot honey. I uh, Hot honey is now my go-to. I don't even care what type of pizza it is. Fucking drizzle with hot honey. It, once, you, once you start hot honey pizza... It's over. KBB knows. Thank you. Blue bu Bubble Gum Goblin. Thank you for the five. Bubble Gum Goblin. I appreciate you. You didn't have to do that. It's character growth. Is it? I mean, I still... I'm not saying I don't like the uh, the cheese burrito, but I just think hot honey is... I like it more. Honey heat? Heat hot or spicy hot? Is that a real question? That guy is trans now. Who's trans? Wait, what? Wait, wait, is that, are you guys, do you guys seriously think I mean the temperature of the honey? Is that a real question? Dublin! Thank you for the five, Dublin. Like the, like, like Scoville. Like, like, like heat, like spicy. Not hey there, chat. The pizza's no, hot, you fucking divorce. idiot! She said she doesn't love me anymore. Butthole depression fucking sucks. Sorry she to said she doesn't stream. love you anymore. Love you all, and Wubby, thanks for keeping Nick me Nick or treat, thank you for the five. All. Um... You, did that donut just say, like, a girl told me she doesn't love me anymore? And now you're here? Bro, that fucking sucks. That sucks. But what are you gonna do, man? You know what you're gonna do? You're gonna, you're gonna, uh... I'm try, you know, I want to make a joke so bad, but if it's this fresh, I'm not gonna make a joke, bro. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna get through it, and there's gonna be a point where you're gonna look back on how you feel now, and it's gonna be a joke to you. It's gonna be a it's joke. It's time to kick off Shriek Week with Nick or Treat Live. That's correct. You're gonna be looking back on the way you feel now at some point, and you're gonna go, damn, I'm cringe that I felt that way about that bitch. That's how you're gonna feel. Yep. Or, yeah, or, <clears throat> side move, you could, you could fuck her mom, you could become her dad, and then you can disown her. There are two ways you can handle it. There's only two. John McClane's brother! Thank you for the five. Appreciate you. You can get her pregnant and abandon her. We could really, I mean, how do you want to play this out? There's too many steps in that, fair. Is today cringe you drink? No. No. <laughs> Everyone's like, what the fuck? Will we oh, whoa, too far! Become her best friend and slowly whittle her self-worth down every day. Okay, that's crazy. And it's something, you know, <laughs> how bad did she hurt you, my man? <laughs> fuck her dad. Here we go. Become her mom. Is it crazy? Is it like... Hmm. Never mind. That's just homophobic. I'm not even gonna say it. Damn. See, that's you don't want to know real character growth. Y'all are proud of me for not eating a cheesy burrito pizza anymore. But the real character growth is catching myself before just being like, just say it. Well, no, I can't say it because it, I'll be honest with you, chat. It is. You know, we love to make jokes here, but that you know, you can't say the real thing because then I'm like, damn. No, I need to. I need to make sure I check that. For whatever reason, chat. For whatever reason, here I'll, I'll explain it to you. For whatever reason. If one of you chatters were to were to it's become one to of my, it's time to kick off Shriek Week fuck with up! Up! If one of you chatters was going to become a step parent of mine, let's say in this case the chatter's a dude. If you fucked my mom, I'd be like, oh, just treat her right. For whatever reason, you fucking my dad made me more mad. And then I tried to think about why that is, and I'm like, no, nah, that just seems that just seems anti-gay. Because if my dad actually comes out as gay and he's happy, I'm probably going to be happy for him. But I don't know. Just don't make don't make my dad gay. Okay, it's not homophobic to say that, right? Don't make my dad gay. That's fair, right? <laughs> right? Like I'm that's not homophobic. Like please don't make my dad gay. <laughs> it's not too late. Leave my father out of this in all ways, please. Challenge accepted. Please don't. I'm going to do it. Stop. You're going to be at the gym and you're going to hit him with that gay serum that we know you guys have. We know you have it. He's gonna be at the gym, and you're gonna you're gonna fall into him and hit him with the gay serum. Do not do that. I'd be so mad. Hey, Wubby, that guy's <laughs> dead relationship here. Just had a rough day and glad to unwind watching stream. I realized that Zoomer music is AI of your favorite Fuck. fictional character singing cringe music. Also, cottage cheeseburgers. Think about it. 
Hey, That's actually so true. Both, until the end there. Uh, you said great stuff until you said you would hate it if your father was gay. Oh, no, I wouldn't hate gay, it if my dad Meek was Mill gay. Meek apparently bought him for Diddy, according to court documents. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Is that true? That's crazy. Bro, honestly, some of the Plankton Metal is pretty badass. Yeah, but you could still say it's Zoomer music. What is this? Okay, I'm just, I refresh the subreddit when I go live because it seems like all of you blow it up when I go live. Will be Magic Monday appreciation post. That's very kind. You have to do that. Usher was the bottom two. What? What is all this that court documents revealing rappers are fucking each other in the ass? This is not true. None of what you're saying can be true. Send feet. No, stop. P. Diddy is getting charged for sexually assaulting a man. Yeah, no, he is. You're fucking lying. Can I get like an article I can pull up or something? Hold on, P. Diddy, what the fuck? Maybe I just had my best game. What? Today. He's getting sued. Thirty-four months balls. It was Why Usher. Can we have this <laughs> what the fuck? Did he go into Crushed jail? Okay, here we go. Thank you, Dwayne. Here we go. It's from the... What? This is... Okay. Sean Diddy Combs... Combs... Combs accused of sexual assault by male producer. Is this worth reading? I, I'm gonna... Okay. You help me with depression. Thank you, man. I hope this... Tupac more like two packed. That's not funny. Yeet. Hey, listen, too often, male sexual assault is a joke to the rest of the world. So you need to shut up. Bro's name's Lil Rod. That's so... Not that... I'm... This sucks. <laughs> yeah, all this is taking place on the BBC. All right, here we go. What? what... <laughs> but what did Diddy do? We're going to find out. Rodney, Lil Rod, Jones alleges he was a victim of unsolicited groping and sexual... Is is Diddy gay? What the fuck? Also, who's doing that? I'm too sheltered. Who's doing shit like this? Bro, I've never... I, what? Like, I've never even... I can't even imagine. Apparently Diddy is. Apparently Diddy is. Diddy or didn't he? Stop trying to make jokes out of this. Responded to the lawsuit filed in New York. A lawyer for the artist said it was pure fiction. I guess that's fair. I, I should wait, right? That's crazy. We'll address these outlandish... I guess that's all you can do, right? You'd be guilty as hell, and you gotta be like, I have no fucking clue who this guy is. I've never groped a dick in my life, bro. According to court documents, the music producer lived and traveled with Mr. Combs between September and November. Diddly? <laughs> P. Diddler? Uh, Jones alleges in the suit that the rapper was grooming him to pass him off to his friends! Bro, what the fuck? Dude, why don't, like, millionaire adults just take a minute to realize there are people who want to fuck them? A man you named Radar I mean? making fun of a dude named Lil Rod? The irony. Don't, why are you using my grandmother's nickname as a comparison here? Bro, Pete Diddy... Call him Puff Daddy because he puffing on daddy. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, thought I told that we won't stop. Was this before or after the Super Bowl? What does that matter? What does that have to do with anything? <clears throat> anyway, this is crazy though. Grooming to pass him off to his friends and engaging in serious illegal activity. This is what I mean, chat, when I always say, whatever we think we know about what super rich people are doing, it's only what we know, and then there's a whole fucking, I'm telling you, dude, VR, like p pedophile space they're having there's i guarantee there's someone on earth who's fucked an alien there i get there's so it's whatever we know multiply it times 10 that's what we don't know bro you skipped a line before the grooming line epstein epstein had a fucking private island for what decades that's what we now know oh god did he why bro why did he so rich, bro? He could have had his pick at any willing participant. Um, his lawyers say he was drugged and recalls waking up naked, dizzy, and confused. He was in bed with two sex workers and Mr. Cops. They want what they can't have. 
No, you're right. That's literally it, bro. When you're Epstein and you're a billionaire and you could have any woman that you want in the world, right? It's, I feel like, you know what I feel like? If here's what happens. Now, maybe this is too much of a crazy thing to say, but I, I don't know anything about anything. But when you, it's like playing GTA with God mode on, you eventually get bored. And I feel like when that happens to people in real life, they start to do evil, evil shit, evil, fucked up, crazy shit. It brings out a side of you that's evil. Now, I'm not excusing it. Let me be very clear. Let me be very clear. They're still making the decisions. There's no excuse. But I feel like that's got to be because it's always it's the people at the absolute top, right? It's like they have their pick at anyone. So like, I'm bored. Are you bored yet, bro? I am still obese. So we got it. We got, you know what I mean? The, I, and I also ain't got money to be like, hey, can you like ignore the obesity thing? <laughs> it works on some, right? But it ain't going to work on everyone. All right. I ain't got, if you, if, I'm sorry, but do you think I'm at Diddy levels? You can probably well, the, mash together. You could mash together the top 10 streamers. And I don't think they have Diddy pull. I'm sorry, not I. I I'm, that's just the truth. We're well, this is a di we're we're on different planets of fame, wealth, connections. You know what I mean? This is a dude who I guarantee has could have a posse of supermodels with him at all times, and any one of them would be fully willing to do anything for him. Do you know what I mean? Okay, Wubby, I work as a chef last night. And we had a miniature autistic version of you in the restaurant. Bro, you don't need to share this stuff, okay? What you're saying is so mean and insulting <laughs> to me. I don't even want to read the rest of the story. We had a miniature autistic version of you in a restaurant. Am I? What am I to you? This little shit sent four different seafood dishes back to the kitchen. <laughs> well, maybe if you knew how to cook, you fucking idiot. Maybe he may, he may be autistic, but you're retarded, bro. You don't know how to flip a, a salmon. You don't know how to turn over a tuna. You don't know shit about anything. So maybe if four dishes getting set, sent back, bro, maybe look N-word, okay? It was exhausting, and I'm beginning to feel like I hate cod. Oh, my. Anyway, so did he rape this guy? Um, here he is with Zendaya. Caught my GF of 13 years fucking my best friend last week. Your streams have helped a lot so far, thanks. Hell yeah, man. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Not, the, not that second... The first part was bad. The second part... I'm glad that's helping, my man. That sucks. Hey, but you know what you get out of this? <clears throat> this is you there is a silver lining to all this. You get to be lonely now. But for real, that sucks. <clears throat> but like here's the thing, right? She was only 13. No, idiot. They would have been together for 13 years. Now, but for real, for real though, you just got to clean house of like snake people that have been hiding in your life. It's that simple. You move on, right? You got to clean house of snake people. That's it. You got to clean house. You don't even need to worry about them anymore. You don't need to worry about them fucking up something else. You get to move on. Clean clean slate. That's actually such a big like life upturning. You get to you could <clears throat> you could be a criminal. This could be your moment. Now play Baldur's Gate for 13. This years. shit is sick. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Spirit Halloween and I just walk past one of the sensors. What did you say? Dan, you were really quiet. How are your teeth? All right, guys, I have a bit of a confession. So, uh, slow jabroni. Thanks for the five subs, bro. I appreciate you. No way. That wasn't the confession, idiots. Are you being poisoned? No. So brave. That wasn't the confession. So I was supposed to brush my teeth twice a day. 
to test it and I forgot about it until today and I realized I'm like, oh, I have stream today. Let me start thinking about stuff like that I need to write down. And I went, oh, fuck, I'm supposed to be brushing my teeth twice a day. So I brushed my teeth this morning when I woke up, <clears throat> maybe like an hour or two after I woke up when I remembered. And uh, that's the that's it. So you're, we're going to have to get it up. Tweet. <laughs> How was it? Um, here, okay. Is this, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be the streamer now that my audience wants me to be. Okay. I'm going to be Wubby. I'm not a rapper, but, uh, I'm going to be the Wubby that my chat <clears throat> is expecting here for the big exciting. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Guys, I got to tell you, I brushed my teeth this morning and wow, everything has been going right. I've been getting so much pussy. My mouth feels great. My teeth feel great. That pain in my assholes has been, it's completely gone for me. I, it, everything has worked out. This, this brushing my teeth one more time, I went to the supermarket and I had, you're never gonna believe this, uh, the hot Kardashian, the old one, the one who's, Kim, came up to me and my breath smelled and it was good. And I now, I have a follow-up dinner with her because I brushed my teeth. Is that what you want? Here, you don't know how it really went? I brushed my teeth, and then I sat here going, ah, my mouth tastes like mint for the next two hours, and I can't uh, have my soda pop that I want. Cool, I'll just sit here. No, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't the, the, what, bro, uh, well, well, Caitlin, what's her name? I almost said Bruce, sorry. Johnny Depp's Willy Wonka sound an ass. <laughs> Get the flavorless one? Jesus Christ. What, uh, how much money do you have? They make flavorless toothpaste now? Get a tongue scraper? What the fuck? What the fuck? Courtney? I don't who's I don't know. <clears throat> they have non-minty toothpaste. That's crazy though. <laughs> That's too much. You guys have to understand I'm I'm like my father and I'm realizing this as I get older. I'm a creature of habit and um I've been using the same toothpaste for years uh and you guys are like, "Oh, there's all these toothpaste." I think for me, if I get used to and comfortable with something, um, I will ignore all technological advances of that something uh, until somebody blows my fucking mind eventually. I'll give you a few examples. Toilet paper. My dad always bought shitty cheap toilet paper, and it wasn't until years after I was done living with him that uh, it was brought to my attention that better toilet paper exists and isn't the end of the world. And I was like, oh shit, blew my mind. Done. Fun fish fact. <laughs> um... And I feel like I'm like that with toothpaste, too. I get the same toothpaste that was in my dad's home growing up. <laughs> I don't need 50 sheets. Bro, good toilet paper has blown my mind. That three-ply. Bro, to wiping. This could have sound really sad, but I learned this in my 20s. Wiping your ass doesn't have to hurt. They have toothpaste now that will brush your teeth for you. It's like scrubbing bubble shower cleaner for your teeth. You're fucking lying to me. That doesn't make a lick of sense. That doesn't make a lick of sense. You gotta get a bidet. I... I... Guys, I'm gonna fucking scream. I... I don't want a fucking Fun bidet! I ate all of the fish. <laughs> I... 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 I find... I don't want wet asshole! I don't want... I don't want to get my asshole super soaked! It's life-changing. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I don't get it. I've tried, I've used a bidet one time in my whole life and it scared me and felt a little violating. Dry it after. Okay. Did you try them in Japan? No, because I've tried them before. Mind blown. You dry your asshole after. But I don't want to incorporate wet my asshole into this. I ask kids. Okay, but okay. Okay. But okay, nobody has a response for this. Nobody has a response for this ever. I don't like the feeling of water blasting onto my asshole ring. Please respond to that. <laughs> Me and like the most serious argument. If somebody wiped human shit on your arm, would you wipe it off or go take a shower? What a fucking retarded thing you just said. That is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard a human say in my life. If somebody wiped human shit on my- So if a homeless person ran by and wiped shit on my arm, 
okay? The difference is my arm doesn't have a shithole, a hole that literally Jesus Christ attached to me that its only purpose is to clip turds as they exit my ass, okay? If I had a dedicated shithole, I'd probably get tired of sanitizing it. I would probably just learn to hey, live with it. Be. My wife's boyfriend wants to know if we're doing Sims tonight. Love yes, the yap, though, daddy. Um, and, and also, I'll say this. If I had a shithole on my arm, my whole life would be different. Because the thing with having an asshole in your ass... You ever play Power Wash Simulator? It's like that, but when you poop... What if it was your own shit, though? Would you let me let me explain. Just... Let me explain. The, my thing with having shit on my arm is that shit that's on my arm. If I don't clean that properly, that has a pretty high likelihood of ending up on my hands, which will end up on my desk, in my food, in my mouth when I chew, whatever it is. And that's disgusting and not sanitary. If the shit that my asshole. Okay, I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna ignore chat. I'm gonna really have a conversation because somebody. You guys, there's bidet cope going on here. I don't even dislike bidet as far as you can use it, but there is so much cope going on here about what bidets do. <clears throat> well, would you just leave shit on your arm and wipe with? No, because it's different. Okay, here we go. My in between my ass cheeks is no man's land for touching because that's where my asshole lies. And until I sanitize or soap my asshole, that is no man's land. You could spray water on it. You could do anything to it. It's no man's land because it is technically disgusting. Now, well, bidet, bidet. Dude, let me ask you a question. If a homeless person shit on your arm, are you going to spray it with a hose and then wipe? No, you're going to wash with soap and water or sanitize, okay? Quit this fucking cope that spraying water on your asshole makes it clean. Clean how? Clean how? There may be less poo, but it's not like... As far as germs go, let me, if you, you're not going to eat a meal off your asshole after you bidet it. You would need to sanitize it. You would need to get in there. Wet does not equal clean, guys. Now, with that being said, when I wipe my ass with TP, when I just straight up get in there and wipe my ass with TP, my ass is not clean as far as germs. It's my, and I'll use the better word. My ass does not become sanitary. My ass is no man's land. If I start getting a little wet and wild, and let's say a girl wants to slip a finger in there, you know, I'm not gonna tell her, but I, there is some, listen, unless I just came out the shower, it's no man's land. If I, another example, if I go to scratch my asshole when I'm out in public, okay? My hand is now contaminated. I gotta wash that shit ASAP, so I won't do that unless I'm in the bathroom. Because my asshole is no man's land. Wubby, this is an L take. I'm a net positive for humanity. There I said it. And I'm not afraid to say it anymore. <laughs> I, I, okay, I'm going to turn TTS back on. <clears throat> Bro, you're actually cooking so hard. I know I am. Because here's the thing. Bidet people think they have clean assholes. No, you have a power washed asshole. But that's not how germs work. That's the, the, I'm sorry, but but ER fucking doctors don't go run their hands under bidet powered faucets. No, because it's not how you sanitize something. Yes, you have less poop in there, but the argument of if you had poop on your hand, would you not wash it? You're not soaping your asshole! You're just spraying water on it! Stop moving the goalpost. I'm not moving the goalpost. My original goalpost is that I don't like the feeling. I don't like water being shot on my asshole. I don't like it. Unless it's gonna, I don't know. Here's the bottom line. Unless my bidet is gonna come with aftercare, I don't want it spraying in my asshole. Is my bidet gonna cuddle me after? Answer me this. Is there a button on the Ludwig bidet that you can press after it does it? And is it gonna blow something up that we can go lay down and watch Netflix? Because if not, I don't want it spraying in there. The Japanese ones do. Well, then they're ahead, okay? It can blow hot air. No, that's still foreplay. That's still foreplay. <laughs> You're so retard. <laughs> Mine jerks me off. Still dry and wipe with to a tea bidet. I don't know what the fuck you said. Do you even speak English, bro? No shot you soap your asshole every time you shower. What the fuck? Bro, you just out. You just fucked up for team bidet. You know that? All these bidet boys are looking at you going, you're not on our team anymore. Me. Bro, no shot, you ass, you washed your, I almost said you asshole your soap. Yes, my man, I soap the shit out of my asshole, literally, when I shower. I soap the shit out of my asshole, and then, 
until the next time I poop, I'm walking on cloud nine knowing that if any time, if someone wants to rim me up, if I'm out in public, if, if someone comes up to me and goes, hey, bro, can I rim the shit out of you? I'd say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's this golden four or five hours after a shower where I am so clean and my asshole is so poop free that I'm down for anything. If you see me walking a little taller, chest a little out, shoulders a little back, just know my asshole is 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 clean. If you see me start to slouch, get a little more cagey to myself, it's because I didn't even get a full wipe in. True artisans use toilet paper for heavy lifting and then and baby wipes for the detail work. <laughs> Bro, I don't think I don't want anything with the name baby near my asshole. I'll keep it a buck. No, I hear baby wipes are like really bad for your toilet. That's why I don't do it. Straight up. Do you have skid marks? Butthole, butthole, butthole. Oh yeah. Oh bro, I thrive in the skid mark. I, I, they, they call me skid mark marketplace. I'm, I'm, um, you know, I look like an old racetrack. My underwear is, uh, <clears throat> it's like, it's like a, it's like an, it's like a, a road that hasn't been seen by the government in many years. This shit is just worn through. Sometimes I have to wipe for a while to get everything. With a bidet, you blast it all away, and you only use one or two sheets of toilet paper, and I never have to go back a second time yeah, just no, no, to no. clean. Yeah, no, no, chat. Before I move on, let me let me be very clear. I understand that it sounds on paper. That uh, the bidet is just a, simply a more effective way of cleaning your ass. You cannot, though, argue against my point, which is an opinion. I don't like the feeling of a bidet. I do not like that feeling. It's a feeling that makes me uncomfortable. It's a feeling that makes me... Uh, uh, I don't enjoy that feeling. And so when I say that, I get two answers. Oh, that's fair. Or this insane bidet cope of, you're a child. No, I just don't like it, bro. I just don't like it. You know how you, half the chat didn't like cottage cheese and I did get mad at them and tell them they were babies? Just like that, you know? It's just, a, I just don't like the feeling. But you like blue cheese. Yes, bro. I like cheese. I like blue cheese and I don't like my asshole being blasted. So you enjoy reaching into... <laughs> See, this is crazy, Cope. So you enjoy reaching into your warm, poopy asshole with a piece of paper. No, I don't enjoy it. It's a necessary evil so I don't walk around with stink, poopy, swamp ass. What a stupid thing to say. You're, that is so stupid. Because here's the other thing, too. When it comes to wiping my ass, I get to choose the power level. Uh, and I choose very gentle setting with my own hand. I just get in there, you know? You don't, hold on, yeah, this is the real question. Y'all don't catch the shit. <laughs> uh, it isn't wild. Men think that washing their own ass is not a thing or it's gay. I don't know what that means. This has nothing to do with being gay. I don't think, I don't think gay men are sitting on the bidet, turn that shit up to 9,000. I think, I think gay men poop like we poop. They poop. You know what I mean? You can regulate a good bidet. I choose to believe people who use bidets dry their assholes by dragging them on the carpet like a dog with worms. <laughs> Dude, HP does that. HP, we, we've got him checked out. I just wanted to be clear. He does not have worms. In fact, he does not have anything. HP just you loves rub. Didn't club. smell. You wouldn't wipe. Damn. Damn. You should definitely bring someone on just for you to reiterate that your point is an opinion piece, only for them to say, ah, yeah, I agree then. Now I'm confused as a Damn. bidet person. Which stupid people don't have bidets with soap reservoirs to spray and soap at the same time? If, if bidets sprayed and soaped at the same time, I'm telling you guys right now, I would bidet. I would bidet. But this dude just brought up a really interesting point I want to address real quick. Bro said, if poo didn't stink, would you wipe? Because... You know, forced to shit, or what is it? Born to shit, forced to wipe. I don't think I'd wipe. I don't think I would even buy into Big TP at that point. Because I believe I'm wiping my ass for society. I don't believe I'm wiping my ass for me. What level does Gino use on his bidet? I think that Gino would cry if a bidet hit his ass. Okay, chat, let me ask you this. What if poo was clear? Guys, can we stop? We can, we gotta stop. <laughs> Why do you guys watch? <laughs> what about a wad of toilet paper run under the sink for like a millisecond, then using that? <laughs> guys, what if poo was clear and smelled good, but it was still like poison? It was still straight up poison. But what if it was clear and smelled good? 
Would you wipe? <laughs> I'd eat it. <laughs> oh, we gotta Then stop it would that. still smell like shit. <laughs> Bro, you smell like shit. Thank you. What's I let fun? you poop on my chest. Okay. Mm. Mm. Anyway, let's move on. That was fun. Good talk, guys. Hey, we can move on. Good talk, hey, Wubby, that hey, what's guy's up? dead dog here. I just found okay. out the other dog I was sniffing was playing fetch and going for walks with another dog, and your streams <laughs> have really helped me get over it. <laughs> Two girls, one cup wouldn't be as unbelievable. Yeah, they'd just be having fun, really. <clears throat> hey, poop guy, can we have poop advice? Guys, if I'll say that, that we can all... be eau de toilette from poop. Let's, let's just call... Let's call... Let's all come together here. If bidets blasted with soap or sanitizing water, I think I'd be on board and I would get past the, the feeling of um, of like, I don't like the pressure in my asshole. Hey, Wubby, <clears throat> Big TP literally killed people for promoting bidets. It's not safe. Oh God, I hear knocking at my door. I shouldn't have read that because it, it, I didn't really sell it. I'm sorry. I was never a theater kid. I really wasn't. I'm sorry. I should have given that more of a theatrical. Do you, do you want me to, you did pay the five bucks. You want me to give that a theatrical performance? <clears throat> hey, Wabi. I heard that, uh, or I'll do it. I'll, here, I'll, okay, I got you. You're going to get your five bucks worth. Okay, I got you, bro. Hey, chat. I heard that. I heard that. Hey, chat. I heard that big TP is, uh, killing people for, uh, for, uh, <clears throat> for uh, using a bidet. <laughs> Who is it? I can't act, dude. I'm so bad at it. <clears throat> it's it's hard. I, I oh, man, actors are crazy good at what they do. <laughs> Man, they honestly hardest job in the U.S. Got to be an actor. So this, I saw this on the subreddit, and I think this is something I would love to. I know this is in the U.K., but that doesn't mean I don't want to try it. Autism reality experience. Peer, wait, piecing their world together, the autism simulator. Hmm. You're living it. <laughs> You're living it. So what this is going to do is it's essentially going to sit you down in front of a, a desk and it's going to put on the stream <laughs> and you're just going to start typing random shit. Yeah, you're going to get a puzzle. <laughs> what could this possibly mean? You put a... <laughs> yeah, they sit in a room and nothing changes. Um, Let me see if there's got to be... Hold on. I'm going to go to YouTube. And I'm gonna, I haven't done this yet, so this could come up blank. I'm gonna type in on, in YouTube right now, autism simulate, oh my God, it auto-filled. A virtual experience of autism. What? How could, do I not know what autism is? Oh, oh we're in 3D, we're in 3D chat. I knew you had to be black. I knew it, chat! We're black! Uh-oh. Oh, I'm deaf, too. Or maybe I'm not black. How are you, Layla? I'm fine. How are you? Loads of peepily people invading my house, expecting me to act like them. <sighs> Parties are my worst. Ah! Oh, it's my dad. My oh, never mind. Oh. Okay, so this is okay. I took my headphones are Phones. off. Dad, everything sounds everywhere now. People will think that you don't want to talk to them. People would be correct. It's only 108 minutes of your life. Sounds now mixing together, spilling out, spilling in, all around me. Tangled, tinny tumbleweed. Layla, um, can you get some? Sorry, Layla's brain is processing. Please leave a message after the tone. Bleep! Oh, darling girl, what are you talking about? I want to do this for mum, but I, I don't know if I can. Yo, any autistic people in chat, like, really think this is accurate at all? This is... <laughs> 
I don't. This just feels like schizo. <laughs> what is happening? They don't like it, but it helps me feel calm. Here comes the invasion. Out of face. Is it gonna get like crazy? Where's most viewed? Here's most replayed. We'll skip to here. What happens here? Let's see. On that poster, the guy on the left's chin is inward, and the guy on the right's chin is outward. What? Dude, are you autistic? How does everyone else know how to act? Okay, but okay. Layla got we... jokes, I see. Didn't know these people could joke. <clears throat> oh, autistic people? I took that way differently. The funny thing is, is that this is like social anxiety at a party. Chat, I gotta be real with you. Like, most people at parties then are fucking super autistic. Oh my god. Me at a party is like, I walk in. And I, I, God, you're, I can't reveal my strap, but this is, you're going to, oh my God, I'm about to reveal this. I'm sure some of you have seen me at a party, depending on if we're mutuals, and I'm sure there's a mutual watching, but this is how it goes. Oh, so-and-so, hey, yeah, blah, blah, blah. In my mind, internal panic of, I'm going to fucking run out of things to say. Panic, panic. The conversation is winding down. I'm going to go find a drink. I'm going to go find a drink. It was good seeing you. Walk away. I'm free. I don't know what to do. So I go find a drink. I have a drink in my hand now. And now, here, I'll just do this. Ready? I really hope nobody comes up to me. If I'm there with somebody, I just turn to them and I go, talk to me. Just talk about anything. So we look like we're supposed to be here. <laughs> Ooh. And then if I really get stuck in something, I will lie about the contents of my cup and go, I could use another. I'm going to go hit the bar. Do you guys want anything? I'm hoping they're going to say no. So that way I don't have to come back. <laughs> Do I have autism? I don't think so. Parties are hard, dude. I can imagine they're way harder for autistic people. But like, deaf, you know. parties are just fucking, they're hard in general. That's anxiety. Autism is different. I'm basing it off of this video. This video is not helpful at all. I didn't learn anything. Whatever. All right. Anyway. Anyway, back to this. <clears throat> I just don't go to them. Yeah. Where's the part where I... Oh, it's gone. Where's the Where's the part where I asked their horoscope? Don't do that. Look up the Willy Wonka experience. Brother, I'm going to talk about that. That shit blows my mind. Alcohol erases my autism. So true. But I will say, you got to be drunk and I got to be drunk. If I'm the only one drunk... Dude, I remember. I was like... I was at some party. I think it was at like the Envy house or whatever. And like every fucking person was there. And there was some dude walking around. Well, I don't know if I should say this. Anyway, I got into a conversation with Ludwig and he was sober as a, he was stone cold. He was sober on nothing. And I was barely keeping it together when I was, and I, I God, it is probably one of the most embarrassing memories Man, I was, I got handed weed when I was already like plastered and I didn't even, I just, whoa, okay, whoa, was smoking it. And then I realized it was weed and not like a vape. This was years ago. Anyway, long story short, I just remember like stumbling through a conversation and then realizing Ludwig had not had anything to drink. I'm not going to, I said retard a bunch. I remember, and I could tell I was making people uncomfortable. It was rough. Uh, did you try to fuck him? I did not try to fuck him, but the point I'm making is getting drunk at a party is super cool and an easy way to like chill out and have fun and lose the anxiety unless you're the only one there who's drunk or unless you're the most drunk and then it's so ogre. It's so embarrassing. Hammered plus weed is spin city. Yep. Yep. It's not good. Don't do it. It makes you just, it makes you stupid. That's the edge you gotta ride. Exactly. Okay, um, let's talk Willy Wonka, because I wanted to talk about it. Oh, hold on, let me check this out real quick. First time chatter saying what we're all drink uh, what we're all thinking. Hey Wubby, love those feet. Please get the souls dirtier. That's your first message. That is fucking crazy. Welcome though. Being crossed is fire though. Bro, you're 17. Relax. It used to be. I'm too tired. Um Wubby weight loss is showing through the green screen. Congrats. Bro, I was sitting at an... I, can't, I, I will take weight loss compliments. I will. I was just sitting at an angle. <laughs> like, like I was... I'm angular. I appreciate it, but... I can't get it. Like, I'm, I'm fully at an angle right now. 
You're a triangle man. I'm not a triangle man. Nah, you're skinny. I'm not skinny! You're still less round. Well, okay. Let's talk Willy Wonka. Do you guys hear about this? I heard about this, and I, I, I really did find this to be... Oh, wait. First, before we do, hold on. Uh, Bro, it shows. We see the chair more. Trust me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, this The chick who was on... Uh, uh, what's the show called? Weakest Link that we did. She plays cello. Okay? She did not play cello on stream. She was re being a real bitch about it. However, she made a post to subreddit. Stop playing. Why does he keep playing? It's all getting spoiled. And I have to give her credit for having, like, one of the best jokes on the subreddit. She posted her playing cello, and she titled it Wubby 7 in A minor. And I'm like, oh, what is that? But the thing is, when you read it fast, it's Wubby 7 in a minor. And I was like, damn, that's got to win joke of the night. And I thought I wanted to show it. Here she is playing. I have to give her credit. I mean, that's got to be joke of the night. What be seven in a minor? Oh. I never thought Wubby in a minor could be so beautiful. So easy to watch, too. So it, it's, it doesn't sound like I expected it to sound. Um... <clears throat> but it 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 is <laughs> what 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 why is it what 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 scroll down and she posted her cats you have that's an embarrassing amount of cats for um you that's five cats that's a lot of cats bit a bit derivative though true i love that you guys say that now that's maybe too many cats chat in fact that's an interesting point i think five cats for a single adult is uh is probably too much so she either better have like a roommate or a husband five is too many i think per adult living in the house three is pushing it three is pushing it i i maybe you're being homophobic what else is new bro i told you i would weep if my father was gay i told you that that was i'm, I'm being serious read the top comment on the post Uh, now I have to find it. Thanks, guys. I, I, I just closed out of the post. Read the top comment of the post. Oh, here it is. Okay, I'm on the post. Top comment is... Disclaimer. I'm actually several months out of practice because one of my cats died. Colin, you need to get to Commander right now. There's your five bucks. Sorry. Okay, um... Thanks for the dono. But anyway, back to this lady's dead cat. Wubby, the community, the subathon were instrumental in helping me cope. And many people asked to see about my cello, encouraged me to whip it out again. <gasps> I mean, that's... Four is better, chat, but that's not, you know, that's not the point. <laughs> Wait, so there were six before? <laughs> before she had six. <laughs> hey, listen. Um, thanks for sharing your talent with us, and I hope you pick it back up. Or I, I guess you don't really pick up a cello. Or do you pick up a cello? You just kind of lean it on you. Whatever. We can... <clears throat> I hope you're doing okay. That was unlucky, honestly. Uh, I like this idea. This is the cat and I can confirm I am dead and there was too many of us in that house. <laughs> See, that's not funny. That's not funny. Like at all. Hope you lean it back up, the cello. <clears throat> Reintroducing new Wubby show, Scared Shitless. Bubby slams laxatives and plays a horror game until he shits his pants. Um, that could be funny. That could be funny. I think the only problem with that is uh, I don't want to shit my pants. So there has to be like an alternative ending, right? Like, can I can I run to the bathroom or am I actually going to sit here till I shit? You know, you have to wear a diaper, guys. No, no. 
No. No. I'm good. Thank you, hey, Wubby, we'll for having guys, me on. Love you guys. Bottle here. Did you know Google has a real-time train? Thank you, Margo Nautica. Thank you for not being... Uh, thank you for being cool. Sorry about your dead cat. Rip cat. Sorry about your dead cat. But that's cool that you're not dead and that you leaned up the cello once again. Keep it up. Keep playing. Uh, there's more cats. I promise you. They're everywhere. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Let's talk Willy Wonka. I want to talk about this. So I'm going to introduce this story. How can I introduce it? Okay. You, I'll just read it from the article, and then I'll show you guys what I want to show you. So there was a Willy... Nice pivot. There was a Willy Wonka exhibit in... Where was it? Gaz, 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 Glasgow. Did I say that right? In Glasgow. Okay. Um, where it was advertised uh, as... Let me show you the advertisement photo. There was many advertising photos. Uh, but... It was advertised zombies oh. Easter egg with only chat's help. Every down is 10 gummy bears. The gummy bears almost made me go to the to urgent care though. They did. They were that bad. So, um Here it is. It's a big Four. Willy Wonka the, experience, right? Okay. It's 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 going to be exciting. There's there's live performances. Karchi what, what is this is all AI generated? Um it was advertised as this big, exciting. It was all a lot of it was all the promotional material was AI generated. As this big, exciting Oompa Loompas, bring your kids. I believe it was like 30, 40 bucks. Um, and it was supposed to be this family friendly, whatever. Anyway, people started showing up to it. And I don't, okay, so this is. <laughs> This is, um, oh, it was 45 bucks. So this is what parents showed up to. And I want to tell you guys, it was so bad, the police were called, and now there's an ongoing investigation. So here is some, <laughs> so here's some of it. There's a lot of photos we're going to go through. It was in a just piece of shit, empty warehouse, okay? Not, there was it was it was so bad parents were scared for the safety of the kids <laughs> here is the look at this great photo op i mean the, the the goddamn posters weren't even taped down properly it's bad all right let's continue here, okay this is the photo that's really going viral that i'm seeing everywhere this is one of the <laughs> this is the oompa loompa uh it's kind of hard to see I cannot put into words how enchanted I am by the Willy Wonka fiasco in Glasgow. Cops called kids crying in terror in an abandoned warehouse. This is the organic, esoteric horror we've been missing for ages. This poor little Oompa Loompa with her little <laughs> chemistry meth set. Um, I want to say this was an actress that was hired. She was not in yes, on it as far as I'm aware. Zero. Right. Uh, the, this exact same scam has been done with dinosaurs on TikTok. Really? Here's the advertising. Here is footage from it. And I will give you some context for this footage. Actually, I'll show this out of order. Um, so the actor who was hired to play Wonka came out and started talking about it. This is the actor that, the, that this company, that this person hired to play Wonka. This guy was not in on the scam. Let me turn this up. My name is Paul Connell, and I was one of the actors employed to play Willy Wonka at the Wonka's Chocolate Experience fiasco that happened uh, in Glasgow this weekend. Um, I'm going to be poking a little bit of fun at the event, but I wanted to say before I start that I feel for anyone who bought tickets to this. Okay, event, so um, I want to get to the one part he says about the script he was given. Is out of their mind. I give off major rumpa lumper energy. Um, but not like a good Oompa Loompa. Not Get like on one of, with like, it! Like one at the back during the dance numbers. Brevity! Like falling over like you're... Oh my god, a, brevity. Like ...dancing class on holiday. Um, but I got cast as the part Here we on go. Thursday. Um, and was told that I needed to learn the script for the Friday. So I said, no problem, send it. Uh, man, can I just say, actors, toughest job in the world. Toughest job over. in the world. The script was 15 pages. <laughs> Holy shit. Actually, that's insane. Monologue, pretty much, of AI-generated gibberish. <laughs> 
like I kind of I'm part of me wants the person who set this up to get away with it because it is so middle finger lazy. It's it's the most unapologetically lazy thing I've ever heard. He's gonna here. I'll let him. I'll let him say it. Um, which. I will read some for you if you want. In fact, no, I don't even need to read it because I lent it all. Professional. That's a professional right and there. And it was, it was mad. I've lent all of it. That's Poor all guy. I actually, bro, aspiring actors and actresses, man, I'd kill myself. Y'all are, t I watched La La Land on a plane and watching Emma Stone get rejected in different, in, in castings, I was like, this is not worth it. If, if you people were sane, we would not have movies. Because y'all, nobody should want to be an actor. It's crazy. You walk in, and they, thanks, next. Uh, oh, no, thank you. Next. Nope, I could not handle it. I'm serious. If Like I was saying about, like, I think struggling artists is the gotta be the worst shit in the world, right? As far as, like, just getting rejected to your face and being like, well, shit... Now what do I do? That's in my brain. Um, so I'll give you one of the lines from the script. Uh, I'm not going to do the Willy Wonka voice because I think I've embarrassed myself enough Fair. Uh, over the last few days. Fair. Um, Discord DMs? I'll check it. I'll check one it. one of my Thanks favorite lines was, Here we go. there is a man who lives here. <laughs> His name is not known. So we call him the unknown. The unknown is an evil chocolate maker who lives in the walls. What? <laughs> so, what's great about this now is the unknown has become a bit of a character now because more and more footage is slowly being rolled out from families that film their experience. So we have footage of him delivering similar lines uh, in the moment during one of his performances and you guys get to see it's very short There's a five second video if anybody has more footage from this send it to me, but here it is here is the unknown <laughs> And this is our guy. I believe this is our Wonka here What is that? It's the unknown <laughs> The kids start crying <laughs> What is that it is the unknown uh... <laughs> Hold on, I gotta run it back. It's so good, dude. What is that? It's the end of. No. And you know, I want to say again to like, I'm really just gonna suck like struggling actors' dick right now. This poor guy, he's giving it everything. Like, this is not a good gig. This is a scam gig. But like. He, it, like, this is what he was told to do. This is what he was hired to do. So what's he gonna do? He's gonna fucking kill it. He's gonna rise up and do the whole movement and everything. At least you can't see his face. That's a chick. Whatever it is, it sucks. That's the, hope they got paid. Man, me too. Okay, there's more though. There's a couple more things. Um, I've been obsessed with this and part of the reason I wanted to talk about it, I want people to come forward with more shit. Here's a little summary of it. I want more footage. There's got to be more. You know, there's. There, my dad was a guy who would go anywhere. He, we would film everything we did as kids. There's got to be at least one parent who went to this who films everything. Police were called to an immersive event inspired by Willy Wonka. <laughs> Dude, what is this, bro? What? <laughs> it comes as frustrated parents who had paid 35 euro a ticket. Uh, ticket branded this event a farce. What is this? There's more? Oh, please send it. The event organized by House of Illuminati promised an enchanting day out. The event organized... Oh, wait, I already read that. Sorry. But families were... Look at the photo up! With plastic props, a single bouncy castle, and backdrops pinned to walls. They legally l delivered the event, though. Did they? I think that's... Did they, though? Box Hub and House of Lumati have been contacted for comment. Let me guess. They didn't. Yeah, they didn't respond. Okay. There's more footage. Hold on. I got one more. And then if you guys have any, please put them on the subreddit. Uh, pictures of the Wonka no! as a whole. Make it. Manage to make it look worse. All the magic about this event. <laughs> being contained to a small. Okay, look at this. Just look. Look at this. Looks like, like a back room. <clears throat> like these poor people stumbled in here. 
Like, this looks like a staging room for unused props. Or, like, this is where you would put a prop that got broken and you need to move it to the back to, to replace it, doesn't it? <clears throat> a single jelly bean. Yeah, it looks like an airport. Um, What was that con a long time ago with a bouncy castle meme? Was it furry con? Dash con? Something like that? Okay, apparently there's more on the subreddit. Oh, here's here's one. This one I had pulled up. I forgot I had this one. <laughs> a sec chat. A second Oompa Loompa photo has hit the tower. God, see, this is what I mean. Once again, like, God bless these women. They're like, oh, I got a gig. It's with how do I'm doing a little. It's an Oompa Loompa gig. Yeah. No, I'm going to get painted orange and everything. She just had to stand here at this weird, like, makeshift meth table. God, for probably a full day, too. What's the smoke back there? They're probably just pumping smoke, dude. Wait, they gave out jelly beans? <laughs> oh, no, bro. The wig is so bad. Bro, everything is bad. Did they really just give out a single jelly bean? Is that what they were doing? Man, that sucks. You know what this is? This whole thing, man. This is the most... Divorced dad has custody over his kids and is taking them out for his one day he gets to see him. Isn't this the most like divorced dad in his little car being like, man, God fucking damn it. Is this how I just, I feel so bad. Yeah, this is such a best intentions day out with your kids. Like, I feel so bad for any parent who this was their big moment. Also, 40 bucks is like a lot. If it's per ticket, a family of four, this, that, that's a lot. Ludwig made a video on the situation and there's more info. Okay, link it to me. Or if you Biden. have just Each photos, link it to me. jelly bean and a lemonade until they ran out. Then the Oompa Loompas quit. I don't know if you're being, I don't know if you're telling the truth. Owner put out a response. <gasps> oh shit. See, I knew talking about this on stream would be good. You guys got the deets. I'm obsessed with this story. I find it hilarious. Okay. Um, oh, what? There's an eight minute video of people talking to the owner. Okay. Hold on. First off, is this the owner? Because this is exactly what I expect him to look like. Oh my God. Oh, I just realized something. I just, uh, I just realized something. Okay. Hold on. So this is the owner. And right now he's going to turn to all of them and go, He's gonna, he's gonna tell, he's gonna get mad at them for calling the cops. He's gonna, he's gonna tell them all to leave. Fuck you all, you ruined this. And then one kid's gonna come back and hand him the jelly bean and go, "I didn't call the police on you, Mister." And he's gonna put his hand over the jelly bean and he's gonna turn. He's gonna so shines a good deed in a weary world. And then he's gonna turn to the kid and he's gonna, Charlie, my boy. You did it! You won! You won, my boy! No, it was all fake! And he's gonna kick over the Oompa Loompa, who's now a cardboard cutout. It was all fake! And these are point. The bouncy house works for me, boy! You win! You get it all! Oh my god, that's what this is! He, he was testing the kids! Wubby, are you okay? Have you not seen Willy Wonka? So what's your name? Oh, you don't wish to be filmed! I don't care. Look at that, boys, though. Hope remains. You could be a piece of shit scammer guy. This man, he's got someone locked down. That's a wedding ring. We paid money. Why is he dirty? Excuse me. He has been working his fucking ass off to put something together that's going to give kids a core memory that they can nurture and grow off of. Why is he dirty? That's what a hardworking man looks like. Or a homeless person. Uh, yeah, his second job, actually. That's what he, yeah. So, what's your name? Right. There's There's Slugsworth, children. literally Slugsworth. Yeah. He's not I dirty. This. He's Scottish. No, this is this is illegal. I couldn't think. I can't think of a um of a worse accent for this to happen to. Shouts out to all my Glasgow uh, natives here, but y'all sound criminal and retarded already. God bless. I mean that with peace and love. It's probably the worst thing to happen to you guys. Because now we got to hear these poor innocent people fight their way, you know, into this guy to get through to this guy, and it's gonna sound bad. This has a legal. This has a legal. The Willy Wonka experience brought to you by that steaming bag of monkey shit known as Grandpa Joe. You here to represent a company that's taking money off of parents, grandparents, 
the so children. That is Christmas presents off Santa. Yeah, because so they go Oh, I got it. They're not letting him talk. I mean, I'd be pissed too. They're so mad. I want to hear what he has to say, but they're not letting him talk. As I said, we are going to start to rush you. So we find us from Monday morning. Thank you. Right, so where, where, where's my guarantee? What is his... Wow. So he's saying we're issuing full refunds. Shrek-ass accent. What the fuck? Oh, dude, this guy is not in on it. Look at this guy. He just did the... This dude is not in on it. He went... Watch, watch. I feel bad for him. Damn. Yeah, they sound like... They just sound like drunk versions of us. Can't yeah, can't understand a word of it. Look at all these people coming. There's, there's lots of people with their children here. This is oh, is it a new guy? This is a new guy. This is Rich Campbell. Oh my God! Absolutely, bang out order. We found him. So, see if this was. See if this was going to go ahead. <laughs> See if this was going to go ahead. Give an AI one thousand dollars to plan some kind of stream event, and then just show up. I mean, this is not AI's fault, and in fact, you could use AI to have to to actually make something like this very good. But the the, the problem lies in the fact that it was a scam. Okay. So where's all this Willy Wonka stuff that's supposed to be we're, we're so supposed to be showing our children? Sorry? I've been told not to let anybody in. You've been told not to let anybody in, but he's been okay to take their money. Oh, this guy seems like an asshole. This guy seems like unapologetic about the whole thing. The house is going to nasty tell lies. No. I want your name anyway. We guarantee a full refund starting from Monday. No, I'm going to call the police. Because he's a moment into liquidation, he's a no Joe's fault. Fuck Grandpa Joe. True. I'm oh, sorry. I I I'm I'm zoned in. I'm trying to hear what they're saying. I haven't lost interest yet. I'm really trying to hear what he's. I want to hear how he's coping with this. No. Is that why you don't have pictures up of your stuff? No. It's actual. It looks like they're just trying to cut and run. What is the event? Willy Wonka. Turn on subtitles? Bro, what do you think this is, bro? You think we're watching a motion picture? This is some bitch with a Glasgowian smartphone, bro. What do you mean? There's not enough information about it on Facebook. Nothing and on the website. Nothing. Is that why you hire bouncers? Because you knew we were all going to no, kick Is that why you hire bouncers? Huh? Why don't you come out here and fight me? The building. Bouncer's trying to get out of this real quick. He's like, I don't know shit, bro. Hey, I work for the city, bro. I don't, I don't know what this is. Call me Wubby. I'm from Glasgow. Glasgow. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't. I don't think adding another one of you into the mix is gonna help. The trick to understanding the Scottish is to use Google's real-time translator app on your phone. Um, all right, all right. Let's skip ahead. Does anything else happen here? This, they just talk for eight minutes. What the fuck are you saying, dude? No wonder they're so mad. They can't understand each other. Who the fuck are packing them? The fuck? What? I was with them until that last little bit. What the fuck did he just ask? First of all, first of all, first of cat can have been it. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. I thought you guys were being pretty traumatic earlier. I'm like, I know what they're saying. This, both what the dude said. And what his response was, it was like, yeah, it's like they were casting spells. They're saying scoot line forever. I gotta hear it one more time. Hold on. Just listen, listen to this. Ready? Here we go. Where's your old nona's gonna kick him out for scamming all these folk? Where they're packing it, didn't 
Yeah. So the beast was scamming all these folk. Where'd the pack be in the middle of it? <laughs> anyway. All right, so we got more. This is good. I like this. Oh, no. Look. This right here is the result. A big, big, a big fucking frown. Open AI scam to go <clears throat> Glass Global. Gene Wilder's True. ghost is going to haunt his ass till he dies. Wait, Gene Wilder's dead? What do you mean? Oh, I just realized, yeah, there are a lot of grandparents here who probably, you know, get their little outing. Oh, that sucks. Is there any more? I need more of this. I need more. Anybody got anything else? Any other juice? What's this? One of the Wonka actors talked about it? We already... Dude, if you're going to link what I just saw... I think we just talked about this. Oh, you just linked me to a dead site. Nothing was there. Thanks, man. Um... <clears throat> oh, apparently there was a sign. There was a sign outside? Why were they letting people in then if this is the case? <laughs> Event canceled. <laughs> so believe it or not, actually the entire exhibit was generated in Unreal Engine. Oh. Oh. Did you see the Charlie video? Did he make a video on this? I, I haven't seen it yet. Um, that's a big ass seat. Oh, dude, this right here, that was straight up the bane of my existence when writing, uh, uh posters or any sort of law, any, and writing in any sort of confined space is the bane of my existence. You, 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 st you, you carve out where you want the word to be with the first letter. And then I think two to three letters in, you go, holy shit. Holy shit. That's why it says event can selled because he went, I have to pivot quickly. Ran out of real estate. This happens all the time. And as a lefty, it even gets worse because the C is going to be smudged. The A is going to be smudged. And then by the N, I figured it out. Every time I try to make a poster. Another one, too. You ever draw a heart? First half of the heart. Oh, my God. That thing has curves. I would fuck it if it let me. That first half of the heart, that thing's got a swoop, arched back. Beautiful point. Second half of the heart, like obese sister. What happened? Where did that go, dude? What happened? I'll show the dinosaur one. I want to. I want to make sure this is case closed with this. Let me. Let me see if there's any new posts on the subreddit. And then we'll, apparently there's a dinosaur. Ten twenty four, friend of the stream. My friend says there's another one with dinosaurs. The same thing happened, and he's begging me to show it. I want to see it. Do you think the guy was high on drugs when he set Bobby, it up? Can you tell my friend Colin <clears throat> to skip work tomorrow to play Commander? Colin. Oh, you gotta skip work for Commander. I'm always telling everyone to do that shit. Commander's way more fun. Hey, life's about building core memories and skipping rent. Okay. Um. Also. I think, I don't think this, can I be honest with you what I thought, what I think is the, is what's happening here? I don't think this guy was high. I don't think this guy was drunk. I think genuinely he tried to con people into coming to an event that was bad enough to pass and pocket the money. Or, or I'm sorry, just good enough to pass and pocket the money, but bad enough to where he didn't have to spend any money. Do you know what I mean? Like he, I think, and I think he thought, I think going public with it, he thought he would be getting away with it. Does Wubby know? Did you know Wubby is a lefty? And will you unsub now? What does that mean? Um, I think he tried to do it and be like, okay, this will be enough. The police won't get called. And that's it. Uh, any more on the subreddit? I'm looking. Any more photos? <laughs> oh, this. Okay, this is worth showing. Here's an AI picture of what their event was supposed to look like. Chat, can you ever just be serious? <laughs> So apparently this is what their event was supposed to look like. Wait, is this real? Wait, 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 wait. Is this actually what they put out? I thought you were joking. I know this is AI. Is this what they put out? Welcome to the House of Illuminati, a realm where fantasy and reality converge to create unparalleled immersive experiences. Hold on. I'm going to read this while we... <laughs> Yo, Wubby, it's your boy Skuldan. 40 months up, today, dog? can I get a kiss? Skuldan, what's up? Happy 40 months, bro. Glad you're here. I'm glad you're here to see this with us. Confirmed, this is on their website. All right, hold on. I'm going to set the stage. I'm going to set the stage here, okay? I'm going to show you. I'm going to read this to you. As, hold on. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Check this, check this, check this. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Check this. Ooh. Welcome to the House of Illuminati, a realm where fantasy and reality converge to create 
unparalleled immersive experiences. Our journey is fueled by a passion for blending art, technology, and storytelling into unforgettable events. From avant-garde performances to grand interactive galas, <laughs> Each event is meticulously crafted. Adventure designed to evoke wonder and inspire imagination. That, hey, that doesn't look too bad. That is probably their, their best piece right there, is the, um, is the giant, fa like the Wonka factory. This is where the budget went. This is crazy, by the way. This photo is fucking insane. It's like 12 plastic cups scattered, like... You can tell they were very, uh, uh, what's the word here? They didn't want to put, they don't want to fill up the cups too much. You know, well, they have, we have a limited amount of the, of the yellow Gatorade. Beer pong table left mid game. Oh, that's good. I'll never get over her. She also just looks so unfortunately weird in this photo. Sad Oompa Loompa interview on the subreddit. What? We need to hear from the sad Oompa Loompa. Nah, I am sorry. They they really they fucked this. We'll have four tick. What? What is sad and loop interview? Oh she. Oh it's it's like a it's it's a it's not a video interview. Uh okay. Let me a video. Uh, da, 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 okay. Um. So who is she? Meet meet Kirsty Patterson. Uh, okay, tell us about yourself. What do you do when you're not dressed as an Oompa Loompa? I'm 29. Uh, I act in children's entertainment. Okay, how'd you get roped in this event? Hired through Indeed. Okay, that makes sense. You went to the warehouse Friday for dress rehearsal. What happened? I was shocked. I wasn't expecting to look like this. It didn't seem like there was a production going on, but it seemed like an unfinished one. Oh, boy. Okay, um, it was the first time me and the other actors met. I never had a script the night before ever in my entire life. So when I got the script the night get before, you're gonna reimbursed with five oh, no. extra minutes in the ball pit. Uh, were you showing the costumes that day? This is the mental thing about the costumes. Given the amount of time, the amount people had to pay, uh, I thought they'd have good costumes. So at this point, I was like, "What is it you want us to wear? What makeup? Because it's Willy Wonka's experience. You need to have good costumes." Wait, did they not get costumes? They said they were going to be working through the night, so I assumed everything would be a lot better. Oh no. What happened when you turned up on Saturday? Everything was exactly the same. I was like, I don't know if I actually want to do this, but I did sign a contract and part of me didn't want to disappoint the kids. Oh, that's so sad. Honestly, it was bad. I knew it was shocking, but I know I'm good at what I do. See there. See, she, this is what I mean by being an actor is I can appreciate hardworking actors and like who who are small because she went out there and she's like fuck it i got hired i'm gonna give it my all anyway uh okay here we go <laughs> were you wearing orange body paint i can't tell obviously they were wait she's saying she wasn't wearing orange body paint no they didn't give me makeup or anything Seems what like an event designed by the guys from it's always sunny wait what she said she wasn't wearing orange paint you think I'm lying? Were you wearing orange body paint in the photo? No, they didn't give any makeup or anything. It's something I've never experienced in my life. What? Bitch, you were... Liver failure? Jaundice? Tell me about the moment the kids started coming in. Did you see the innocence to leave their eyes? They were quite upset. I think they were confused. Oh no, first, when the first rounds of kids came in, don't get me wrong, it's still an incredibly shockingly bad set, but we did our lines and everything well. We had a bit of fun with it. I don't know how else I can put sprinkles on shit, but we were trying to be the sprinkles on shit. These poor people. Um, I'm sorry, but, um, the, the, this bitch is lying. She's, the, I don't. There's something going on here. She just claimed that she wasn't painted orange. I need to pull this photo up again because she is claiming. Oh, uh, well, okay. Now I actually can't tell. I I, I guess she's not I love your orange. New tab bookmark. 
thank you. I, I, I guess she's not orange. I, I guess it's just Yo, more dog, the implication. My wife is going into labor tonight. One million subs gets to name my first child. Deal. Let's. Anyone want to? How about? What about ten? I could get you ten. I could get you twenty. Million's gonna be hard to cook. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Um, is it just photoshopped? No, I think, I think, I think she's not orange. Can I be honest with you? I think what's happening here. This is gonna sound really stupid. I think we're seeing a bit of um, like for like a like Dwayne. You're we're only nine hundred. 999,995 to go. Thank you, Dwayne. Um, I think it's the implication here. I think because she has green hair, she's in a Willy Wonka outfit. We know this is Willy Wonka. She's looking more orange, but I don't think she's orange. I think that I think she just has a spray tan. Check the subreddit. She's definitely not orange. Um, she has a TikTok. A Wonka walkthrough with a parent, boys. They get better. Jimmy! Bro, we're so close to naming this kid. Keep she it up, just has carotinemia. Either that or she goes to the same tanning place as Trump. She's a carrot. All right, let's let's here's the here's the walkthrough. See, this is why we continue talking. Man, at what point though? Like at what point do you turn to your partner or to an adult that you are with and you go, does this fucking suck? That's tough because you don't want to, oh man, I've been to like interactive exhibits like this. I went to two in Japan. I've, I've been to some in New York. I love stuff like this, like pop-up walk around stuff like this is so fun. And you know, some are better than others, but I've never turned them and like, do you fucking hate this? Oh, at what point do you do it's so awkward because you don't want to do it you don't want to do it you don't want to be the one to go this kind of fucking sucks i'm not joking no. who is that who is this handsome lad do you think he works here where's your kid wait a minute why are you here paid 45 the ticket for this smallest bouncy castle in the world and i bet we have to pay for that food over there <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is crazy seeing it like actually put together. There's nothing in here. Uh, these are like um, the photo bits they are. What a voice. Damn, they made m Oh, the kid is dressed up. Oh, no, bro. There's a lot of people here. Chat, do not underestimate like a pop up walk around experience in your town. They, they go hard, and people show the fuck up to them. As someone who stood outside waiting in a line to get in with a ticket I purchased that had a time on it, these go hard. People, and I'm sorry, they're good. They're getting really good, so it's fair to expect a lot. I paid less money to go to Omega Mart. That's so true. Omega Mart's kind of cool, too. I liked Omega Mart. money. Oh, this is fucked If up. you want to view paradise, you better go somewhere else because it sure as fuck ain't here. I get, oh, that's a lyric. I get that. I get it. Oh, is he going to approach the... Is he about to approach the Oompa Loompa? I see the smoke. That bitch is orange. Or is she? Oh. God bless these fucking actresses. God or actors, whatever. I don't know what they want to be called. Women, bitches. You get one bean. That's her. That's our girl. Oh my God. I want to get her on stream. In America, that shit would have been smashed to pieces in under an hour. I want to get her on stream, dude. That's her. I can tell by her, her, her weird Oompa Loompa face. Look at her. She's, she's, she's tan. She's just tan. I think that's what it is. And I think she's... I think being in Glasgow, she's uh her tan makes her look even more tan because she's surrounded by like the pastiest white folk. But she's not orange. I can see it now. Oh, this just this the fucking thing sucks. Pop up in San Francisco was at the Armory, which was the old kink porn studio. Whoa, whoa! And you could tell who knew just by looking around. <laughs> Whoa, I don't know what you're talking about. Guys, we gotta go over the bridge. I don't know. 
We gotta go over the bridge, guys. Oh, look. It's a chocolate river. <laughs> 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 hold on i'm gonna just because i feel like maybe some of you haven't been doing a thing like this hold on japan walk through uh 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 what are those what is it called who's in japan right now and who's what I'm talking? i met a fan there what is it called the japanese one the team labs yes thank you oh my god you guys knew that so fast hold on i'm gonna show you what these can look like because this is, I went to two in Japan, and this is what they can be. And they are legitimately like highlights of the trip. Um, here we go. Like, I mean, this shit is like crazy. They're like fully immersive walkthrough. I mean, it is, it's insane. It's insane. Jack, don't worry, she's not orange. It's just a spray tan. Like this is—I don't know can if you could tell. A wide variety of colors and shades. Not that I <clears throat> money. Wubby I don't know, know anything. About, this is an. Could you this... imagine a tan wubby? Okay, I'm just. All right, all right. You see what I mean? This is one we went to. Um, all these different rooms and giant. Ex Look, at, you see what I mean? This is what this is what you're going up against when you say you have this immersive experience. It, you, there, there's. You see what I mean? Like it's it's. Some of the things I saw in here were like jaw-dropping i was like i've never seen something like look this cool in right in front of my face i don't know how to describe it you see what i mean wow mirrors bro bro you are gonna die alone you're gonna die alone okay one day you're gonna someone's gonna ha you're gonna you're gonna fall in love with someone and they're gonna share something with you and you're gonna boil it down because you're bitter and you've been very hurt and you're gonna go wow this and you're gonna lose them you're gonna die alone bro you are going to fucking slowly rot in your disgusting cave by yourself. I'm sorry, but it's true. I'm expressing joy, and the only thing that's gonna bring you joy is trying to boil it down and suck the joy out of it. You're gonna rot. You're miserable. Look it, big ass balloons. You know who likes this? You know who enjoys shit like this? This? Other people, okay? Other people like shit like this. This isn't you say rich people. What is this isn't a rich people thing. This is fun. This is a great date, chat. Have this is a great date. Anyway, the point I'm making is this is is what you can expect from these types of things. This is what they got. Hello there. There he is! That's our boy! Oh, we get to see him perform! Oh, and he's gonna be killing it too. He's gonna be giving it his all, isn't he? You know this guy's gonna kill it. Wubby likes big ass balloons. Yeah, of course. Now give me a nice big reaction for the camera. Three, two, one, action. Absolutely splendiferous. That is making it into the commercial. Would you like a photograph? Come on over to the table. Yeah. Oh, is that everlasting gobstopper? I I wouldn't be able to do it. I wouldn't be able to do it. As this is what I mean, actor, super hard job. I wouldn't be able to do this shit. I'm telling you, me as an adult doing this looking at the parents knowing this is fucked i would every parent i look eyes like it, pov you're a parent i wouldn't i i would just be like i would have to leave i, I did, uh, to for him to not break character and perform yes he's doing the right thing fuck no i can't do you think you can eat one of these ready set next to mr Wonka. you don't think you can eat one do you think you can eat one Ready. Oh, God bless this man. What the fuck? You're killing it, dude. Yeah, yeah. of course the parents call them. Because the parents will do anything to make their kid happy. But you know they're going to... I mean, the second they get in that car, they're going to be like, what the fuck was that? Yay! He is giving off Oompa Loompa energy. What is this, like, FEMA food? What is this? What the fuck was that? Oh, look, they got the chocolate river. Wow. Wow. I'm so glad I got to show you guys the Team Labs thing. The, the, the interactive one I just showed you. It's so... 
It's not even comparable. All right. Do you guys want to look at the dinosaur one now? Uh, 1024 in chat was having an absolute manic episode over showing you the dinosaur one. So I'm going to... Team Labs was dope. Yes, you went, bro. I can't recommend it enough. I actually... Like, legitimately, go to... If there's a Team Labs in your, in your town, go to it. It's... Uh, what is this? I want to go. I'd recommend going. And also, chat... I'll tell you right now, going to one of these team labs things, got I I if you're if you're like looking for a um a good first date or something, it's got that is I can't think of something more awkward than a dinner forcing like all that shit. It's got it's just so distracting. There's so much you can talk about and point at. I did the one where I had bare feet plus water. That was weird. That was a little weird. But like whatever. Do it. Do the team labs one. Uh Seeing how bad someone does at something makes me go, I mean, I could organize something better than that. And then I start looking into organizing events. I'm, dude, you, you probably couldn't. Organizing an event is a fucking nightmare. And there are things you don't think about. Dude, in any profession, in any, in anything. I do this with, I, I do this with hobbies that I bounce to every time, right? It's like, oh, how hard could it be to learn how to crochet? I'll buy one of those crochet kits. I'm gonna be on a 13 flight to J 13 hour flight to Japan. I'm gonna learn how to crochet by the time I land. Absolutely, there's no problem. I'm gonna crochet a penguin. It'll be easy. I pull it up, I have the app. I make it one loop in and I'm fucking over it. Oh, I'm so over it. Because there's little things I don't under I'm like, oh, that's how it works? Nope, nope. Event planner here. This was bad. Yeah, thank you. Someone got a, wa a woobles. Oh, you guys know? This is so true, by the way. Do you just have a sign of ADD? Bro, AD this D. Check this out. Here she is uh, with her coworker. Um, got a little photo off. I thought that was kind of cute. It really does look like her, though. Our, our, our sad woman looking off into the distance uh, grows. It, it, it grows by the day. All right, here we go. We're going to look at the dinosaur one for my boy, 1024. Apparently, this has happened again. Uh-oh. Uh oh, here it is. Apparently, this has happened again, or this happened before. This is this was a waste of my $44 for two adults, $36 for children, $18 processing fee, $7 tax, and $10 for parking for the dinosaur bubble thing. Okay, here we go. So this is a pair. I didn't see. Now I need more information on this one, motherfucker. I'll go down this rabbit hole. Or should I say? I shouldn't say rabbit hole. Should I say? Um, uh, di uh, why do you guys stare when I, when I'm trying to. So they have this thing here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and it's called. Oh, it's in North Carolina. Well, that's it. Jurassic Quest. Now they have the video, and the video looks like it's all this excitement is going on, all of this stuff is going on with dinosaurs and so on and so on. Y'all, I promise y'all, we up in here, and the dinosaurs. Kids to this bullshit. Are I've never felt more scammed. Not given what they're supposed to. Oh, you give. were there. They, you they were at this. These dinosaurs are old and snagged to number one. <laughs> they old and snag a tooth. Go off. Speak your truth. And look, and there's nobody really talking about the dinosaurs. They got videos at each dinosaur station. I will say, see, this is an example of they probably got away with it too. Because this one is so much better. But I will say, this is one that I was, if I was with a group of friends or whatever, right, I would turn to them and go, just so you guys know, like, this one is shitty compared to good ones. I would say that, but I wouldn't call the cops, and I wouldn't, like, this is what I mean. This is the minimal effort you can do to not get in trouble, I think. That tells you something. These things are not moving. I mean, well, that's you know so, what I mean. That's They're not so really doing that. Trashy, the head dude. just go up and down, so on and so on. Now, mind you, the ticket to get in here for an adult was $22. Then they have it advertised. They said that if you get your child the VIP pass, now the VIP pass, watch him. The VIP pass says unlimited ride. Did she just tell her mans to watch the kid? That was, she was so quick with it. Didn't even see, watch him. Everything, you can do everything. 
Okay, so I'm watching him. We get to the ride section. I'm watching. He, he didn't say a word. He. It says Jurassic Jeeps. Y'all, why they got no. these little Jeeps in here? No, these bro. These kids, regular Jeeps. No, bro. Look, 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 and a dinosaur in the middle. No, bro. Okay, that's bad. I went bad. to a hockey okay. game at an arena next then, door to this and saw some dude steal a dino from the storage lot. That's not. You don't know that he stole it. You've got the Raptor training plan, which is nothing but a big playpen. They got another blow-up thing. Another blow-up thing. This is at least better, but I, I will fully agree this is a shit one of these. Another blow-up thing, another blow-up thing, another blow-up thing, and a They were place putting a T-Rex into a Honda Civic, pretty fossils. sure it was stealing. Y'all know they ain't finding <laughs> nothing in there. And then you got this big whale. Whoa, 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 right whoa, here. pull him up, bro! I'm not understanding the Jurassic in that. Jesus okay. Christ! And then they said- Where's his butt crack? Limited rides. Oh, they got dino rides. Here are the rides. They should have known this Look. shit was gonna be fake. I bet not one of those idiots brought a golden ticket to get into the real Wonka. Look at that child's face on that thing. They is not excited. The thing just goes up and down. That's it. And they only have three of those. And this one over here is not working. This is a complete sham. And most of the, most of the people that are on, most of the parents that are on here, their face is so disappointed. The most excitement is the kids with the bubble wands. Other than that, I got I'll, I got to be real. For for 20 bucks, this is not bad. <clears throat> it is certainly certainly not for all ages. I think if you're like a child, this is probably going to be very cool. But usually these things the ones I've experienced, it's like a family thing. You can bring your kids, but there it is also adult friendly and that it's cool. You're going to like it. This one, if I went to this, I would be mad. I would tell all my friends, I'd be like, do not go. Do not come. Yeah. Look. Robo I mean, that kid's running and his little legs are flailing. That's a good sign. Whoa, yo, 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 what? Whoa, yo, rope a raptor? And it's just, it's just a stationary dino, and you throw a rope on it. You try and string around a, a stationary dinosaur. Okay, when I just said, do not come, or whatever, there were too many of you spamming, was that Wubby J-O-Y? No. That wasn't Wubby J-O-Y. No. Five. Four. Hold it. Three. Yeah, I'm not gonna go. No. You got the workers and they're running. Wrap the run. This, y'all. <clears throat> this. Today is the last day up here. I wish I would have known. That's all. I'm I think. I think it's fair what she's saying. I'm so mad they got us. You did kind of get got. It's not great. Say, it's kind of shit. Wish I would have known. I wish they had a place for reviews on this website. But this Jurassic Quest save. You're. I went to a dinosaur one. It was um, it was in a parking lot next to a Korean barbecue place in San Diego. Who who went to that? That one was pretty cool. The 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 freaking bouncer there knew who I was. He got a photo with me. That one wasn't bad at all. I liked it. Who went to that shit? What was it called? It was pretty cool. Say two. You guys gotta stop, bro. You guys gotta well, be let me finish. Stop. Say two one, Wubby. Well, there I said it. There, the back there. That's gotta count for something. Okay, well there was the dinosaur one. Not as bad. Not as bad. Not as funny. This one's way better. The even Ohio can do it better. Yeah, I'll see. You guys got cool ones too. All these cool little pop up ones. See this fun. Also, if you're if you're cool, if you're one of the cool kids, if you're like uh, edgy like me, you might show up high. And then when you get really high and do these, it's really fun. It's a actual, it's a vibe and a half. I did not get high in Japan for the record. Well, but you got to give it another shot. Fuck off, dude. This is literally the one I was trying to make. Are you flexing on me? I think I just realized it's not for me. It's just not for me. 
I just Googled Jurassic Quest to find more video, and they're coming to my town in two weeks. I'm <laughs> oh, no. Going. See you there, NorCal. Go. Blast. You got to go. Go and report on it. I, I We want to know. Um, 2.7K. Just gifted five subs. That is, that's a good one. Good one, dude. Thank you. Appreciate it. Send peanut on the street. Hell no. Wubby, have you seen the propaganda video for the North Korean water park? Okay, guys, we have to get on with, with, our, with the show tonight, but I will pull this up because you did get my attention with that. North Korean water park. First off, I, I, how can you tell me that this is propaganda? Where is this? Where, 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 Justin Timberbond! Sorry, I got a little too excited there. Thanks for the 10, man. Two hours into stream. I'm sorry. Dude, we got so into this. You can't... I don't want to fucking hear it. The Willy Wonka thing is so interesting. I'm obsessed. In fact, if there was more footage or the Oompa Loompa called in, I would spend another fucking hour on it. Okay? I would spend a whole other hour on it. I don't give a fuck. It's the most interesting shit. I love it. And you, I know what's interesting too, because it's going so viral. Um, I love that it's on like major news websites because it's 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 so blatant. Like the the dinosaur one, you can argue about. Uh, can we get some more commander? Yes, yes, more commander is coming out very soon. Um, we need to get her on stream. I'm trying, dude, but it's probably like two a.m. there or whatever. You know, whatever time it is over there. Okay, what does there's no what is this North Korean water park thing? I, I what, what, what propaganda? What is, what is this new? What do you want me to? What is North Korea water park propaganda? What is this? How do we know it's propaganda, dude? Have you been in North Korea? I hear from what Don't they put there. out. I mean, piss. I hear that North Korea is a, is a fantastic place. Okay, I and listen, I trust. I trust people until they give me a reason to not trust them. And North Korea says they've never had COVID. North Korea says they're all well fed. Why do I not? Why would they lie about something like this? Okay. Look at this. They're clean. This looks like a safe place to live. They got trees. They could, damn. This is 12 minutes. <laughs> this is a 12 minute video chat. Whoa! Oh, look at them. They're so not trapped. They're so here by their will. Single dad here. <laughs> yeah. They got me twice now. Jurassic Quest was one of them. It was pretty shite. My tickets plus two kid VIP tickets and then the garbage gift shop equaled like dollar two hundred fifty. Bro, you're getting single dadded so hard. That sucks. That man. Your kids and are gonna And notice how so, skinny everyone is. They're gonna resent the fuck out of you, bro. You just can't do anything right, man. You know what? You know what you gotta do? Quit getting fleeced and 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 just save up for Disney. Can't go wrong with Disney. Also, I paused this to not interrupt it, and I'm realizing, what the fuck is this? Monsoon Water Park. Guys, we're in too deep. I'm Look sorry. Look at that but... kid's teeth at 56 seconds, WTF. <laughs> the day they shot the promo for the water the park, water park is known in their folklore as the best day in North Korean history. <laughs> They're like, oh my god, water! Oh my fucking god, water! It, and it runs! Why did they just go, I want a water park, fuck it. I want all three pyramids. I don't want one, but sir, what, I want three. I want all three. Okay, well, what are you going to put inside of them? Fucking nothing. Nothing. Upper taint green suit sweat. Thank you for the five. Picturesque Kedong River in Pyongyang to mark the 68th anniversary of the Workers' Party of Korea. You ever heard of that theme park where the rides are construction equipment? It's called Diggerland. No joke. Thank you, this dank stink for the five subs. Why is there a si there was a I'm there? Is it racist to say there was more diversity in this crowd than I expected? Like, I'm shocked. I saw uh, earlier. I saw a black woman. I did not know that. I'll just fucking say it. I didn't know there were any black people in North Korea. Am I, is that, is, is, I did not, I thought, no, 
There isn't? Prove it? I swear to God, I saw a black woman. Right there. Part of Korea. Literally, right there. And a black guy. And another black guy. And another black woman. What the fuck? And another black guy. And another black guy. And another black guy. And another black, guy, and another black woman. And another black guy. What the fuck? What's going on? I really, am I just really stupid on how North Korea works? Those are African diplomats? Are they, are they here to diplomatically throw down on the water slide, bro? Most likely embassy officials from other nations. That, it, that could, that couldn't make sense. That actually could make sense. It's all propaganda. Why do we play ball? There's so many black people! Run! You run! There's a white woman! Get the fuck out of there! Get out! What are you doing? Run! Get on a plane! I always quick. thought Skeeter was Korean. <laughs> What's happening? Why are we all gonna play water? Your people uh, are hungry! Brother, some eight. Show teeth at 56 seconds. It is Alpha Mare, equipped with all facilities for people to wade in the water. What the is this? Having fun. Having fun. Pole, wading pole, Dude, the pyramids are real. What is this? Chad, I'm so invested and I shouldn't because this probably isn't interesting at all. In what is this? Wading pole, what? Is Bro, they just slapped his ass in there. <laughs> he's in the fucking pantsuit too. God, even at the beach, he's looking fresh. Come on. Colored plaster statue of Great Leader Kim Jong Il. Ah, this this is unreal. I can't believe North Korea exists in just current day. It can't. It just fucking. I cannot fathom that this is a thing. When you, the more you look into North Korea, the more you're just like, oh, but this is over, right? Like we're done, like we're done with somebody did something about this, right? No, it's worse than ever. Oh. In his lifetime, greatly the Kim Jong Il desired to build a modern indoor wading pool for people. I mean, Kim, Kim, this North Korea is the way I play Civ. Me, you think they are no, into no, hold being on, dominated? Hold on. I want you to hear what I'm saying. North Korea is run the way I, me. The way I play Civ at my desk with fake people. Uh, Brussels is starving. Fuck Brussels! I'm at war, bitch! Build me a monument! Build me a monument and you get salt! Build me a fucking monument! I'm, I'm, I treat them like inhuman ants doing my bidding, all while if you're unhappy, I fucking kill you, right? And he doing it in real life for his kid. Hey, buddy, could you finish that countdown? I'm timing you out. For five? No. <laughs> this is an indoor waiting pool of L. That's not enough chairs. Style. That's not, a, that's not sustainable. Those are fake dolphins. This was, pro dude, if this isn't shut down, if, which it probably is, it's probably sludge green. There's no way they've kept this up. This is so, this it would be so expensive to run. And water tanks. There's no way. This is probably all abandoned. There's no way. Look at even like their their promotional footage. There's probably 12 people running around. That's that is what is this? Why do they all wear little hats? <laughs> we are we all having fun. What? Yo, anybody speak North Korean? But when you go there, there's no water anywhere. Imagine trying to get your money back then. Man, North Korea pop-ups hit different. You can slide on a rubber boat or set your whole body afloat. Whoa, that, that looks safe. That was built to standard. A rubber boat, baby! 
Oh, it's more crowded now. Okay. I don't know why I want to say hey, Wubby, that girl's dead cat here. Just wanted to let you know that Google <laughs> has a real time slide. translator to help you with the Korean. <laughs> Yo, is this stream fun to watch for anyone? Because <laughs> it's starting to not make sense to me. Damn, she ate shit coming out that slide. All right, I think I'm sold, chat. Let's do a meetup. We'll do a meetup at the North Korean fucking water park. Whoa! Basudum! Korea. The indoor wading pool has a yellow earth sauna, a gat sauna, and oxygen sauna. This is basically Kim playing SimCity 2000 with cheat codes. It is, though. In this tunnel, you can take a sufficient rest after waiting. What is 2 plus 2? The you can work at man. They have no fucking clue what a uh, water park is supposed to be, <laughs> bro. You this is, they you can tell that they have no idea what like uh yeah it needs a gym because that's what Americans like to work out right or yeah they're doing that over there right just fucking throw a gym in there. Boom. In the it's like a water resort. Boom. This in is the they're place. they're running in their sweat. That girl was running in her her one piece, dude. Different apparatuses. What the building. fuck? What what are, what is this? He's barefoot rowing. Okay, I gotta keep it real. Some of y'all are so cringe. I said one piece, and people are saying he said one piece. The gymnasium is provided with several fitness grounds. <laughs> Trampolines. Quick pickup game, huh? Google Instant Translator. Mountain hey, what's up? Just thought you should know you could use that girl's dead cat to protect your new <laughs> Okay, all right. They Just put a the bowling alley. I can't think of anything safer than bowling barefoot in my underwear. I can't think of anything safer than that. Oh, they got the fish set. tunnel! Five, four, three, two, one. Now spray away, boys. I mean, they... In the indoor waiting pool, there are soft drink booths and coffee bars on the first... This is pretty cool. It's like a cruise ship. Whoa! Beer! There are also... <laughs> He's like, fuck it, they get their haircut, right? Throw their haircut in there. A beauty salon, barbershop, and massage room. It looks lit, bro. It looks like an alien's idea of what a water resort is supposed to be. Give us a grocery store. If they don't put a fucking GameStop in here, I'm gonna scream. If you go back, I don't think they were actually serving food. It looked like they were pretending. Well, let's see. Now I wanna see. Bars on the first and second floors. I mean, this woman looks petrified. No, I mean, that looks like food. Is this a hospital or a drugstore? I don't know. We'll never know. They just showed it. If anyone who missed this stream is gonna reference, did you see that? Remember that stream where Wobby spent like an hour on like this Korean hey, propaganda water park? Hey, what's up? Salty Caesar, thank you for the 10! Glia's translator here. I'm gonna translate what they're saying in Korean in real time. They said bidets are for grown Find one of rainbows intersected with one another. Thank you, Salty Caesar, for the 10 subs, and not an insult, just 10 subs, thank you. That's a really nice way to support- Ano- Oh, Anonymous is back! Thank you, Anonymous! Could you- <laughs> Anonymous, could you speak up in chat so we know who gifted, please? I appreciate it. Oh, there he is. There he is. I see him in chat. Thank you. Appreciate you. This is a water park for children. Oh, I used to love the big bucket tipping thingy! Do you guys remember the big bucket tippy thingy? Me and the big bucket tippy thingy go way back. Lashley, thank you for the five. Everyone's Rancor, thank you for the five. Crimson New Time, thank you for the ten. I assume all of you. Big tippy thingy, yes. If you just got gifted a sub, please at the person who gifted it to you. 
Tell them thank you. They got a full ass fucking tennis court, basketball court. Enjoying prosperity to the full in a socialist state. What did you just say? Slurp the god! Guys, I can't stop until we finish the video. I'm gonna be honest with you. I need to know how this ends. Water park through the seawater pipeline. Bushy Ray Ray. Thank you for the five Bushy Ray Ray. Enjoying the prosperity. Is flowing water tank at the foot of a man-made. Oh, this is the lazy river. That's the lazy river. They got lazy rivers yeah. in North Korea. I don't believe. Man, am I? Am I? Oh, 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 oh. I think you guys are right. I think all these people are like ambassadors or important people. That is crazy. Visiting the Munsu Water Park, foreigners and overseas Koreans are said. It is the best water park in the world. It is a pride of the Korean people and a victory of Korean socialism. We were supposed why are any of you fucking idiots going to bat for North Korea? You just look so stupid, dog. Price at its beauty and all that they name Pop Tart Crusher, bro. Oh no, it's me a Pop Tart. Who loves the people. It's me a Pop Tart. Nugget Lee, thank you for the five, brother. Appreciate you. The Moonso YouTube channel boy boy actually went to North Korea. This yeah. outside part is 100% real. Yeah, Boy Boy went to North Korea and then ran defense for them. That was one of the weirdest videos I've ever seen in my life. I've watched that video. Hey, that guy's ex-girlfriend slash daughter here. I just wanted you to know this is better than Six Flags. Less crowds. Take a look at it on Google Maps. Totally not abandoned. Hold on. I want to see. Is there like a video of this today? We saw the propaganda. Hold on. Uh, what's the name no of their water park? No crazy river, only hardworking river in the wondrous people's <laughs> republic. <laughs> water park to twenty. Let's do twenty twenty three. Let's see it because twenty twenty four is still fresh. Maybe there's an update from Milk Truck. Thank you for the five. Appreciate you, Milk Truck and Heldon seventeen. I don't know. I tried to read it. Thank you for the five. Um, North Koreans flock to water park in Pyongyang after victory over COVID nineteen. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? What? What are they? What? Basky yeah, Chen! Yeah, everyone swimming probably all got unalived after this video. Basky Chen, thank you for the 10. Uh, North Koreans escaped the summer heat of the water. Okay, so they're here. What? what okay. What, what am I supposed to take from this? Do you think the fat kids in North Korea also wear those see-through white t-shirts at the water park? Oh, wait. Minsu Water Park reopened Biden. a yep, day yep, after yep, leader declared Nine, yep, victory. Yep, 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 yep. I'm sorry, but bro is declaring victory over COVID. That is fascinating. I wonder how many millions of people got fucking killed by that shit. If they catch you in the lazy river, you get executed. The river leads to a firing squad range. <laughs> Found the great leader's bidet. Only the biggest in for Kimmy. Yo! North Koreans use the term fever instead of COVID in case reports due to lack of testing capacity. Holy shit. They're like, we don't have any COVID deaths, but this fucking fever is devastating our people. If only we had a way to do something about this. Anyway, pool's closed. It is, it, it is, it is. Hmm. Man, why are you still wearing? Hold on, this is crazy. It's crazy to... um that they, they declared victory over COVID and the photographer Please has, replay uh, that a guy on. jumping off the diving board. He goes no. in the fetal position and belly flops. Why are there, this is, there are no fat people. There's not a single woman not wearing a swim cap. You know, it, 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 what's, oh God. Listen to the science. <clears throat> They're choosing not to report it. It's because they don't have food. The country has said it relied on lockdowns. Whoop, they missed it. The kid in the water is kind of fat. Well, kids get a fat pass, right? Puberty and whatever. She picked her nose then ate it? Bro, they hungry! Best part of Great Fever is the shorter lines! It looks totally open. Look at it on Google Maps. Oh, baby. Oh, that shit dry dry. 
hold on, I gotta, I don't even like pulling up Google Maps on um, screen, so I'm gonna just take a screenshot first. She was Kunkles keeping her nose searching for that gold. Did you just say Kunkles? Did you mean Knuckles? I'm Knuckles the Echidna. I'm Knuckles the Echidna. I have a multi-headed penis. Um, all right, here it is. <clears throat> this shit drier than a than a than a than a woman who has who has difficulty producing uh uh uh, uh woman semen that coats her. This thing's dry as fuck, bro. It's cause it's winter. Oh, I see. Could be the off season. True, true. Yeah. Anyway, fuck North Korea, and I hope they never enjoy a water park again. What was that? What is this at the twelve minute park park in the water? What? What do you mean? What? This is a dude standing. They do this at normal water parks. Also, everyone in the video of the same variation of like four or five swimsuit pieces they were for sure handed out before they entered had to be returned in order to leave. Wait, really? This guy's just standing there? That is, uh, they do that in, um, I've seen this in like American water parks. I've seen that. I don't know why. <clears throat> All right. Are you guys ready? Let's watch fuck. Oh, we're done. I'm done talking about this shit. You can get it. I'm d we're done. You can look at the reviews on the water park on TripAdvisor. All right. Um. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. You guys ready for some yub yubs? I went to a North Korean water park and they caught me getting pointed in a lazy river. They tried to send me ass to a concentration camp. I ripped out my bald eagle from my swim trunks and everyone started sucking for the freedom juice. <laughs> Some of you people are, um, I worry about you. I really do. Do you know which episode this is? Wait, is this a major episode coming up? Hold on. Hey, wubby dude who got fucked by Diddy here. I drew a cactus on my scantron, and now I'm going to have to repeat senior year. Cheers to jailbait. <laughs> what Gay the Tesla fuck? Gay Tesla here. Still can't find a Flipper Zero, but I saw a T-Rex in the back everybody. of the truck, so that was cool. Um, wubby, last week you said those stairs are going to unalive someone. What stairs? Yup, 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 yup. Oh, I did say that. I, what, with the, the stairs in the fucking cathedral or whatever? All right, here we go. All right, I did say that because they, they are you kidding me, bro? All right, here we go. Um, I think this is the episode. Previously on Before the 90 Days. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yes, this is, hold on, let me, let me skip around. This is where we were, right? Since you can't yes. please, right? Wait. You are we the one after this? Are we the one after this? It's hard to remember. Like that. But I'm not going to change. I'm going to be so emotional right now. I think we're on the one after this, maybe. Let me, I'm just going to be brave. I'm going to be brave here. Hello? Hello? Oh, we're on the one after this. Fuck. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, hold on. Oh, no. The thumbnail for this one is the... Uh, what are their name? I'm sorry. I don't know their name. So I'm just, the, the British lady, trans lady, and the dude who hates her. They're playing VR in the thumbnail. He hates her, bro. He hates her. Her last words. <laughs> Sorry, fuck. I wish I could button. I wish I had the H3 button. Man, I'll see y'all Friday. That was a fun stream. Don't forget about Willy Wonka. Have a nice night. Media Share is in one Sunday from this, so a week and a half. All right, we'll see. We got maybe maybe we'll do high life. You lose this Friday or something. We'll figure something out. I don't know. All right, bye guys. Love you. Take it easy. Be safe. Be nice.